every day people spot mysterious things, and one place where strange photographs have been taken is that of public transport. Going back a few years ago, someone posted this photograph along with this caption. A passenger riding alone on an NYC bus was minding their own business, when they began to hear strange growling noises coming from the right side of them. They looked across the bus and discovered that they were far from alone. If you look in the window, you can see the reflection of this creepy looking man, except it is completely different and appears to be looking over its shoulder. Could this be a demonic possession? End quote. The photographs soon started to make the rounds on social media, with people giving their opinions on what the man was doing. Some suggested that the individual could have been on something, while others said that the individual was possessed. One user said the following, I've seen some comments that this photograph is photoshopped, or that this is a mask, but I don't think this is the case. I've been on this transport system which is thought to be close to Chicago, and I can tell you there's some really strange individuals you come across. I certainly wouldn't like to be on there during the night time. When I first saw this image it gave me nightmares. I just hope the person got out of there okay. End quote. While another person said the following, That looks like the CTA bus here in Chicago. There's a bunch of crazies who take the bus at night. End quote. While this person said the following, I'm pretty sure the person in this photograph is on something. You can see their reflection in the mirror, so I'm sure that this isn't fake. End quote. Others went with the idea that this individual looks possessed, and although that sounds like a joke, possession is something that gets taken very seriously. Ghosts, spirits, angels, demons, and many other such paranormal entities have captivated the minds of humans. For years, we have heard stories about these mysterious entities, and a few of us have even experienced them firsthand. Despite all of the advancements made in science and technology, and despite scientists being able to unravel some of the most complex mysteries in the universe, it seems that we have completely skipped over one particular field of study. It's the study of the paranormal. Many ancient civilizations studied paranormal activities, ways of interacting with different paranormal entities, and harnessing their power for the greater good. It's believed that some of the ancient civilizations had mastered the art of real magic, and they not only cast extremely effective spells, but learned to harness this power. Not only that, but it's said they were also able to summon some of the most powerful paranormal entities. However, our civilization seems more inclined towards technology, and things that can be explained according to the various laws of science. But from time to time, different paranormal entities seem to give a hint of their presence, and those who have witnessed their powers will back up these claims. A possession is described as someone who has an entity that has taken over their body. This allows the entity to control this person how they please, playing with their physical body as well as their emotions. Although it sounds like stories, possessions to this day are still reported. Science has taken a stance on this and has said it usually happens to people that have problems, and that the brain is not healthy in the individuals that experience this. Then there's the other side that states that possessions are very much real, and needs to be taken more seriously. A man by the name of Maurice Living in Warren, Massachusetts was famously known for having one of the most abnormal demonic possessions ever recorded in the 1980s. The story about Maurice goes back to when he was a boy growing up with a father who didn't love him, and had to endure gruesome work on the farm for long hours each day. Over the passing years, his father became more violent towards his son, switching temperaments between anger and neglect, and Maurice sought to move away from his father as any growing child would. Maurice wanting a better life for himself began to seek from any means he could, going as far as asking Satan to lend him a helping hand. It was on one of these days that he experienced a strange event at the farm's barn. The details of the event were never fully disclosed, but it had to do with a ritual involving love, 
and Maurice was made to participate in it. Not long after, he began to notice changes in him, from his strength exceeding a fully grown man's, to having knowledge of things he'd not been taught. It was not until 1985 that the town began to notice several strange things happening to Maurice, from blood randomly appearing on him or his home, to fire breaking out, and cases of Maurice appearing in more than one place at a time. Many people were witness to the happenings, including a police officer. Ed and Lorraine Warren, the famous paranormal investigators, were brought in and were able to resolve the case. This was when they realised the situation was that of a possession, rather than a usual haunting. They summoned Bishop Robert McKenna, who conducted the exorcism ritual. They were successful with the exorcism. However, Ed Warren almost lost his life in the process. Maurice was able to make a reasonable sum of money from the damage caused by the farm by the demons. Religion is a complicated thing for some, and a healing or support process for many. It's not right or wrong to be religious, and it's okay to believe in whatever you want to believe in. For those who are skeptical, however, the darker side of religion can and has had unintended consequences. It's caused some to be extra careful when doing certain activities like exploring an alleged haunted house or going to a location that's said to harbour spirits. Many people across the world believe that something happens after you pass, and that in some cases certain individuals don't pass over, and are left wandering this world tormenting certain individuals for their pleasure. Perhaps one day we'll be able to close the chapter on the paranormal, but with an increase in cases, it seems that this day won't be any time soon. So what do you make of this mysterious photo? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.